Buenos días, queridos alumnos de CELA Spanish School Online. In this class, we will continue explaining the conjugation of the imperative, theme that we started in video one of this series. I recommend you watch this video in Spanish. It is available on our channel. I make this series of videos in English for those students who wish to have also the information in this language. I apologize if I make some mistakes. These videos are part of the material of our online course on the imperative for intermediate Spanish learners. We will explain some of the most frequent irregular verbs. In video number one, we had already anticipated that verbs that are irregular in the present are also irregular in the imperative. Let's see this in detail. In present, some verbs are irregular because they form the first person in he, as for example, traer, to bring. Yo traigo, tú traes, él, ella, usted trae, nosotros traemos, vosotros traéis, ellos, ellas, ustedes traen. In the imperative, this irregularity is in all the verbal persons of the negative imperative. And in the persons usted, nosotros, and ustedes of the positive imperative. Tu trae, usted traiga, nosotros traigamos, vosotros traed, ustedes traigan. Tú no traigas, usted no traiga, nosotros no traigamos, vosotros no traigáis, ustedes no traigan. Tú is almost equal to tú in the present, but without the final s. And traed vosotros is almost equal to the infinitive traer, but with d at the end. Other common verbs of this group are decir, to say, venir, to come, salir, to go out, hacer, to make, poner, to put, tener, to have. We practice only the most frequent ones, which are common in daily communication. In this table, we have conjugated some of the verbs of this group that we use most frequently in the imperative. There is the positive and negative imperative. To practice, I always ask my students to make together some sentences. In the written material of the course, we have the exercises to practice the irregular verbs that we explain here. The verbs ser, ir, and estar are irregular in the imperative too. The verb estar is not used very often in the positive imperative. We use estar in combination with adjectives that express a state or a condition. For example, estoy cansada, I'm tired. However, we use it a lot in the imperative negative. As for example, no estés triste. Irregular verbs that have vowel change in the present 
also have vowel change in the imperative. Remember that vowel changes occur from O to UE like in poder, from E to IE like in empezar, poder is can, empezar to begin, and from U to UE like in jugar. Jugar is the only verb in this group. There are also changes from E to E as in pedir, to ask. About these verbs, we will uh, speak um, later. As in the present, the verbal persons nosotros and vosotros do not change. Other verbs in this group, probar, to try, Almorzar, to have lunch, comenzar, to begin, jugar, to play, volver, to come back, despertar, to wake up, sentarse, to sit down, dormir, to sleep, resolver, to solve, recordar, to remember, acostarse, to go to bed, calentar, to warm up. However, verbs that change from E to E maintain the irregularity in all verbal persons in the negative imperative. This will also happen in present subjunctive. The, the conjugation of the negative imperative and the conjugation of the present subjunctive uh, are the same. Other verbs in this group are pedir, to ask, medir, to measure, vestir, to dress, seguir, to follow. The verbs that end in oser, usir, and eser, that form the first person in z, c, o, like traduzco, to translate, have the irregularity in all the verbal persons of the negative imperative. In the positive imperative, tú and vosotros are not affected by the change. Other verbs in this group Conducir, to drive, producir, to produce, obedecer, to obey, conocer, to know, ofrecer, to offer. In the materials of the complete online course, we have the exercises for the practice of these verbs. In video number three, we will explain irregularities in the verbs that have an explanation in the pronunciation of Spanish. We invite you to watch video number three.